Well, boys, we are back with another video, and we are, as you can tell, sleepers. And we are down in the bottom of the basement with, uh, we're working on those ancient dragons. And it looks like we finally, and I mean finally, got a trigger mob to spawn. And this one's going to be for what we will call T the Ancient, because that's just not a word that I can attempt to pronounce. You know, T-J-U, I, I don't know, I don't even have a guess. So, T the Ancient. The spawn is a shimmering drake, drakeen. Uh, finally got one to show up. I think I have probably cleared ten of them, seven of them. Uh, and this is during, I'm not sure when this video will come out. It'll probably be in two months. Um, but this is during the increased rare spawn event, which I hope you guys know is, it's really nice except for at the end zone, the excuse me, end game expansions that involve trigger mobs. Well, trigger mobs are not considered rare, so they're not impacted by this, at least from what I have found. Um, so we've got a jobber. I'm going to go ahead and pet power him. He is he's loaded with guild hall buffs, just absolutely loaded. Um, but we've got to take on a 116 trigger mob, and then right after, we should have a nice ancient dragon to fight. So we'll get Siri in here, because she's always screwing shit up. Anyway, boys, let's get this going. Let's spawn this ancient dragon and see what it looks like. We'll go slow, and we got real lucky and it landed first thing. That's great. We shouldn't have much of a problem with using pet power, but yellow, I mean, this is a, a 116 mob, so there's always the potential for flurries and just massive DPS, so we just gotta watch the job. Uh, thankfully, I've got quite a few charmable mobs up in this long hallway, and I'm just gonna assume like all the other ancients, that this one roams, and he will path, um, what I'm guessing is north and south, up and down this hall. And so we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully get him right in front of where our charm mob is, and that's what we'll pull him to the charm mob, and we'll fight him there. So, as usual, these mobs. These 116, the even con and, the, and above, man, they've got some hit points. Um, I'm going to go ahead and help out Jobber a little. Looks like he could use a little assistance. Siri wasn't keeping him at 100 or 90-ish. Probably need to just basically start my dots over. It looks like everything's fading. Well, I bet we still have another two rounds of this, so we've got a few ticks to go. Um, don't want to use ropes because obviously we're we're going to be taking on an ancient dragon, and we're going to need every every last bit of DPS. That's helpful. Um, I think after this ancient, I've just got the one last one to go, and. Then it's on to the two reborns, and those are those are going to be those are going to be an issue, but we'll address those later. For now, let's just wrap this up. Um, I'm going to feign death as soon as he drops. Should be now. Yep, there we go, right there. Um, let's see here, boys. I bet I'm not anywhere near Abner here, so... Get him suspended. Hit shadows, sit down. 
no pet. And then we're going to go take a look at this bad boy of a dragon who's pathing away. That's great. Man, 119, rare, ready to attack. That is a big, big boy. Uh, that's my charm mob right there. And so what, man, I mean, I bet that's almost perfect. Man, I, I am going to met up, and this is going to be, man, I really like to see him from the front. Oh, there we go. Who is that? Is that Dawes the Cursed model? I think it is. Those are cool dragons. They're a lot better looking than those Falcor Luck dragons. Um, actually, that's a charmable one, too. I'm going to just... I'm going to med up here, guys. I'll go ahead and stop the video. There's no reason for you to just watch me med. But we'll be right back. With part two, which will be um, engaging TVH. So, see you boys in that video.